Welcome to Free Media. I'm Robbie Suave, and this week I'm joined by Bacha Ungar Sargan, opinion editor at Newsweek and author of Second Class How the Elites Betrayed America's Working Men and Women. Thanks for joining us, Bacha. Thank you so much for having me. It's so great to be here with you, Robbie. So let's get right into it. Embattled President Joe Biden called into MSNBC's Morning Joe yesterday and railed against the elites who he says are working against his candidacy. Let's take a look. The American public is not going to move away from me as the average voter. And again, I'm here for two reasons, pal. One, to rebuild the economy for hardworking middle class people, give everybody a shot. It's a straight shot. Everybody gets a fair chance, number one. Number two, remember all this talk about how I don't have the black support? Come on, give me a break. Come with me, watch, watch. I'm getting so frustrated by, by the elite. Now, I'm not talking about you guys, but about the elite in the party who they know so much more. But any of these guys yeah. don't think I should let them run against me. But CNN's Jake Tapper doesn't think the elites have been out to get Biden. On the contrary, maybe the elites are finally listening to the base. Let's watch. Look at my career. I've not had many of those nights. It was a terrible night, and I, I, I really regret it happened. But the fact of the matter is, mm -hmm. how, how can you assure you're going to be on, on you know, faith that can intervene on your way to go to, you know, work tomorrow? Age, age wasn't, you know... The idea is I'm too old. The fact of the matter is, how can you assure you're going to be out on, you know, on your way to go, you know, work tomorrow, age, age wasn't, you know, the idea that I'm too old? Keep in mind, that soundbite is supposed to be reassuring to those Democratic supporters who have gone wobbly. So, Bacha, you have written a book about <laughs> how the elites' uh, policies preferred by the elites who run our country have been bad for working class people. Um, now, Joe Biden there is kind of taking some of your rhetoric. Do you think he's right that the elites are scheming against the president of the United States? I think it's undeniable that the same media and political elites who tried to protect the American people from knowing that President Biden was in this state have now turned on a dime mm -hmm. and are now demanding he step aside despite the fact that he has won 14 million votes in a primary. Yes, a truncated primary. Yes, not a very democratic primary. And yet he won them all the same. He is the party's nominee. And now those exact same elites who were involved in shielding President Biden because he embarrassed them in that debate and revealed to the American people what they themselves knew yes. and were hiding from us. Now they are demanding he step aside because he exposed their own perfidiousness. And I find that utterly disgusting. I mean, Jake Tapper, look at that. This is a person who was protecting President Biden from anyone who would question his age and his fitness, et cetera, et cetera. Look how disgusting he's talking about yeah. him now. I mean, that reversal on a dime is part of the problem. And, you know, a lot of people don't like President Biden. And so they can't see what's happening because they want him to step aside because they don't like him as president. He is getting the Trump treatment. Mm. And if you didn't like it when they were trying to kick Trump out of office and get him, you know, keep him from being a free man, et cetera, et cetera, when you didn't, if you didn't like it when they were subverting democracy on Trump, you should not like it here. What do you think, So Robbie? my read is that the media, I mean, you know, media is a large organization, so there's different people here with different motivations. Um, I think certainly there are, uh, there have been pro-Biden sycophantic voices, particularly on cable news, on MSNBC and CNN, who have been part of a cover-up, if you will, about the age-related questions. Um, I think the White House press corps has tried to get at Biden and tried to probe these questions, but was just not very effective at it. I, I do think overall, if I'm characterizing the media broadly, there was a, and this speaks to kind of the, the themes you, you write about, there was a blindness to this issue, even though the American people could not have singled, uh, signaled more clearly that they thought Biden's age was a major concern, that two Three quarters of people, a majority of Democrats said they didn't know if Biden was physically fit to serve another term. They said that a year ago. 
And the media did not lead with that story. That it was it was a ground up story for the because the media is like, but his policies are the policies we agree with. So why would why are people not liking Biden if they it, like these policies are good? They're just missing that people are saying, no, you wouldn't hire this guy to run a 7-Eleven. He's too old at this point. He has to be retired. It's it's not ideological, and the media thinks in very ideological terms. So that's why I think they missed this story. Now it's unavoidable. Now it's so obvious you can't pretend you can't ignore what we what we all saw um, the other week and they're I, I think they're humiliated by it I think they're yeah. angry that they missed it and now yes you're right now he's getting the treatment that Trump has gotten for uh, for years since the beginning which is sometimes I think is too critical sometimes I think it's spot on sometimes I think it's critical in the wrong ways but um, th there's no question that this is the top concern of voters right now so you have to like you have to double down on it I, I see them in such a contemptible light because I do think that they had access to him when most yeah. Americans didn't. It was the White House press corps who did get to see him, who did know about this, and maybe consciously, maybe unconsciously suppressed it. And to see those same ghouls now sitting there demanding answers yeah. of the very things that they demanded professional consequences for anyone who had the guts to talk about it, those same people. It's really, really horrifying. And the other thing is, Robbie, notice you're so right about this policy question. They're not upset at Biden's policy. They are disgusted aesthetically yeah. at his aging. And to me, there is something so godless about that. And mm. also the fact that no, he's still going to be president for five more months, right? Nobody is talking about invoking the 25th Amendment. No one has a problem with... Maybe they should be, I don't know. Well, but, that, but that's exactly right. Yeah. They're acting like they think he cannot, he cannot serve. They don't actually care whether he can serve or not because they're not trying to get him to step down now. They just think he can't beat Trump. Yeah. And that is what this is all about. Before they thought he could beat Trump, although I think that that was like, obviously he couldn't beat Trump even before yeah. that. I mean, he could, he's just not likely to, Not I mean, right? We're, to. It's yes. a roll of a dice, exactly. right? He ha I think, sure, I think it's plausible that Kamala Harris has a slightly better chance to be, I think she's gonna lose to Trump too if she were the <laughs> candidate, frankly, but I, I think if I was the Democratic Party, would I take a gamble on someone else? Probably at this point, I think Biden is low enough in the polling that I would. Of course, Biden's own incentives are very different. I don't think he has any incentive to stop running for president if he wants to be it again. I don't understand why at his advanced age, where yeah, this is it. clearly a strain on him, it is, I mean, people throw around the term elder abuse. It is kind of hard to watch um, this, this man, this figure being, being, you know, pushed through this grueling job. Um, he, you know, now he has actively sought this and he signed himself up for another four years of this. And I think it is just even setting the ideology aside. It seems to me just obvious that it's utterly beyond his capabilities at this point. Maybe that wasn't true a year ago. Maybe the, the decline has been sudden in the last couple of months as it it is, it is often sometimes. for old people. Um, no doubt. You know, we've all had this experience with people in our families that we've known. Uh, it's it's not easy to watch, but it, it has the most important job of anyone in the country. And I'm not reassured. In fact, I'm made more annoyed by the kind of defense that is. Um, well, it, it, he doesn't really matter. There's a whole team of bureaucrats running everything behind the scenes that is, you know, is not move, is not subject to the democratic accountability process. So, well, that doesn't reassure yeah, me right, very right, much, right. but maybe that reassures someone. Right. No, I agree with you. There's something really heartbreaking about all of this and so undignified and sad. And the other thing is, um, you know, if, if anybody who spent five minutes watching conservative media has known that this is the case oh, yeah. with the president for the last at you least two years. You mean watching those cheap fake videos right, exactly. that were just misleadingly exactly. edited and manipulated exactly. according to Karine Jean Pierre? And it's so amazing because I had not realized that there really is a significant portion of, I would say, the Democratic elite base that only watches yeah. uh, news that is favorable to Democrats, which by the way is the vast majority of mainstream media, 96% of journalists are Democrats, right? That they really were shocked by the debate. I mean, no one who has turned on Fox News or watched your show or mm -hmm. spent any time outside of the New York Times, Washington Post, MSNBC, CNN bubble would have been shocked by that. In fact, 
he did better than I was expecting him to. <laughs> I will admit. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah, actually, I mean, I think Trump also did much better than anyone was expecting. Trump did better than he I expected. He did really good, yeah, but um, that's for sure. so for that, that he, he, wants he was it. very he was He's very hungry yeah. for it. I'm almost in <laughs> awe and in horror of how badly he wants to be president again. I, b both of them. There's some there's that it's that true. need there's for more power that, yeah. that is just something to to marvel at and indeed. be terrified indeed, by. Indeed. <laughs> All right, we'll be back with more free media in just a minute. <laughs> Thank you.